Omicron has been setting the standard in efficient power system diagnostics for decades already and is now redefining what's possible with the new CPX200. The CPX200 establishes a new benchmark for size and weight, balanced by functionality. With the new innovative safety concept, we are maximizing user safety while not limiting the usage for test engineers. The CPX200 ecosystem can perform tests and diagnostics on power transformers, instrument transformers and switch gears using either the CPX200 integrated touch control or with the guided workflows of the PC software CPExpert. And finally, data can also be uploaded, managed, analyzed and assessed within the new Cortex Grid functionality. On power transformers, we can perform traditional electrical tests like ratio tests, even in a three-phase configuration and with automatic tap changer control, DC winding resistance tests, as well as short circuit impedance tests and demagnetization. In this video, we're going to focus on insulation testing, featuring innovations such as an extended frequency range from 1 to 600 Hz and performing the insulation resistance test, even using the same setup. Setting up the hardware is easy. The CPX200 is linked with HVX10 with a snap lock mechanism. It's simply placed on top and snap, they're connected. Safety is always the highest priority for power system diagnostics. With our new certified safety link, we offer a single cable for connecting safety equipment, such as warning lamps that visibly indicate the device's operational state in addition to acoustic signaling. The whole safety equipment is plug and play and no separate external sources are necessary. With one cable, everything is connected and ready to go. We have a new grounding mechanism where the grounding cable is visible on top of the device. An additional measurement ground is connected to the HVX10 for accurate capacitance and dissipation factor measurement, as well as for additional safety. The CPX200 and the HVX10 are finally connected with only two cables. We also have a new high voltage cable. Big and heavy cable drums are a thing of the past. The usability has been drastically improved due to its light weight and flexibility. Testing is additionally made easier with the possibility to connect four measurement inputs, so four bushings can be measured without any reconnecting. Before you go to the transformer to do your connections, make sure you grab the interlock key out of the device and take it with you, making sure that no measurement can be started during the process to ensure the test engineer's safety. For the dissipation factor measurement, all cables and connectors have to be disconnected from the bushings and the bushings must be cleaned beforehand as unclean bushing surfaces could affect your measurement results. Afterwards, short circuits are mandatory on both the high voltage and low voltage side. This short circuit is to avoid an open main inductivity, which could influence the measurement results or even lead to unsafe voltage on open terminals. When connecting the high voltage cable, don't forget to use the strain relief mechanism and with this setup done, you can now perform the dissipation factor measurement. When all the connections on the transformer are done, re-insert the interlock key and put the device into active mode. Now, with a slide on the touchscreen, the prepared test can be started. The test engineer can always decide between using the embedded touch control for operating the device or the PC-guided CPExpert workflow. On the device, as well as in the CPExpert software, you can make use of Omicron's expertise built up over the years and use the provided templates for easy testing according to standards. You also have the option to make use of the system's flexibility and use your own templates that you're already used to perform measurements with. If historical measurement data is available, it can be checked if the obtained results match and even give automatic assessments. This can be done by using the Cortex Grid software, which is directly linked with the CP Expert software. If you're interested in more information about the Cortex Grid, please see the linked video. With these results, you can then assess the insulation between the windings and between the windings and tank. As mentioned before, this can now be done with an extended frequency range from 1 to 600 Hz giving the user additional information about the state of the insulation and deeper insights into the general condition of the asset. Keep in mind that the insulation resistance test can also be done with the very same setup, saving the tester a significant amount of time and effort. 
based on all these new innovative functionalities integrated into the new CPX200 ecosystem, we can not only cut the measurement time drastically, but also increase the safety for test engineers. This new smaller, lighter, faster and safer test set will give test engineers a chance for an early end of the workday.